day I had a guy ask me working on his replica for him. And I, you know, I'm all for helping people out. And 2023 was the exception to the rule. Um, I always, if someone comes out the house here, uh, you know, playing in the field, if they got a problem, oh, bolts, I'm missing a nut, oh, I lost this, oh, I lost, you know, can you take a look at this? I, I, and I fix this on the fly. I've done all through 2023. Um, but actually working on somebody's replica, there was only three people this year. And one is a, was a holdover from last year. Let me go through those three. Uh, gentleman had a CO2 1911. He uh, crossed. He took the, the Allen key out for the CO2 and he put it back in and cross threaded it. Messed it all up. Wouldn't tighten. You know when it started to go bad, he just kept horsing it down and then messed it up. So I tapped that out for him. Worked like a champ. Explained to him that he doesn't have to take this the Allen key all the way or Allen nut out or bolt all the way out. He can just uh, you know. Uh, take it out partially and get the CO2 out. Well, that was end of 2022. And he finally came out on, in the middle of summer out the house here, and I was able to give him the pistol back. He used it all day. He said, it's fantastic. One takes CO2 out. I said, just unscrew it two times. He unscrewed it two times, and I said, CO2 popped right out. I said, there you go. You don't take it out any more than that. And I said, make sure you always put a little drop of pellet gun oil, which he went out and got, to put on the CO2 when you put it in there. I said, if you're going to store it, store the gun, I said, put a drop or two of pellet gun oil on the seal on the top there. I said, that's always a good thing to do. And even starting a year off, I would do that. If you're going to use the gun for the first time, start it off. This year, there are... Uh, I keep saying three. There's actually four, but uh, I'm, I'm going to go with three. One guy gave me his M4. He said, uh, can you update this? And I'm like, I'll take a look at it and give you some specs. When I got it, though, I found out it's an LPEG. It was shooting about 260 with two fives. Um, he had a crappy 8.4 battery in there that barely turned it over. I lent him some, you know, my 7.4, and the thing was, like, snappy. And he was using two fives in it on a recommendation from us. I adjusted the hop up a little bit. BBs float out there, but they're going so slow that you can just matrix out of the way and uh, miss them. Now, if he takes his time and aims and just waits for somebody, he can take a couple of shots. And I told him, shoot three times at somebody. I said, this way, by that third shot, if they're starting to move, you can adjust a little bit. I said, your BBs are so slow, you've got to put at least two, three down range to get uh, contact with the guy. But anyway, I told him, I said, nothing I can do for him. I gave him a link for some uh, Lancer Tactical Gen 3 uh, M4s, which were fantastic, under 200 bucks. And he said, oh, you know, he's going to look at those. Thing that is, I don't think he is. Oh. So, third guy that I worked on a gun for was Caleb Tucker, out of Caleb Tucker Airsoft. He sent me, middle of the year, he, gave, he actually drove up here when they're coming back from a game uh, down near, near me, about an hour away, and dropped off uh, his shotgun. It had a broken charge arm, and he brought me a broken as a VRSR 10 clone. I think it's either JG or a, a Sima. I had a guy who was able to take the old rod that was broke off, and I sort of estimated what the new piece on the end would look like that was broke off, because we couldn't find it. Uh, and he made a new rod, a charging rod for it. I, put it back, I finally put it back in the gun, no lie, two days ago. And... It's working. I actually made a video on it and released it. It's, it's, it's a little uh, pistol grip gas shotgun, five-round burst. Um, works like a champ. I shot it a couple times. So he's good to go with that. That was the third guy that I, I, I did.
de actually worked on something for somebody. Now, I do work on one of my teammates' stuff. Rebel, his name is Kevin, and his call sign is Rebel. And I do work on his sniper rifles a long time ago. And the last thing I worked on this year was some updates to his M4. The last update being not only like the front handrail and things like that, but I tapped it and put an Allen uh, bolt in, well, it's an Allen grub screw in to lock it so he cannot go to full auto. So he actually is forcing himself to shoot semi only. He's having a blast with it too. Uh, it's tweaked out pretty good. He's using like uh, three twos in it, and they're, they're nailing pretty good. So that was the only update I did on his. What I've been doing, though, lately is I work on my own stuff that needed to be fixed. I had an M4 that was just driving me nuts. You know, I, I, I don't know what happened to it. It's not, it was shooting, shooting, shooting great. And then all of a sudden it just quit. BBs wouldn't flow. They're dropping out of the barrel. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Need a new hop-up, I think. Take the hop-up apart. It's got a crack in it. I'm like, oh, there you go. Plastic hop-ups. So I put a metal one in. Put the metal one in. And it's not feeding good at all yet. So I'm like, maybe it doesn't like the metal hop up. So I'm going to buy another plastic hop up and put it in there. So I bought another plastic hop up in there and put it in there. Still doing the same thing. So I'm like, what's going on with this? And I'm like, the only thing I haven't changed is the friggin' bucking. And it looks fine. Took the bucking out and I got it with my glasses on. And I'm looking at it. And it's got a small little crack that when you fold the bucking a little bit, you can see the crack. Must be letting air out. So I guess when the air would push in there, that would go out the side, and then it would totally screw up the BB, either jam it up or not let it go through. And I'm like, that can't, that can't be doing that. Put a new, bought a new bucking, and nub, put it, or put it, I didn't really need the nub, but it came with it. I put the new bucking in there, put the metal hop up back in it, shoot like a champ. No problem. I'm like, man, 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 firing good, firing good, no problem. So all this time, I'm doing all this stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's what's the problem. But one of the things that I wanted to do, though, is the front gearbox was having problems. The front wire gearbox was having problems. And I really wanted to wire it to the rear, so I didn't have to keep taking the whole gun apart when I wanted to, like, do something on it. I could just take the back, you know, and it's apart. Got a new gearbox, wired to the rear shooting like a champ, and I said, I got the little skinny batteries to put in it, 11.1s, shooting great. I said, score, we're done, works good. So I finally decided then to look at the sniper rifle that he had just said I could have. It was broke. He, he said maybe I can fix it. So I put it all back together, and I'm like, it's missing the arm for the hop-up, but that's a really good hop-up that's in there. I'm shooting and the BBs are just dropping out on the ground. So I'm like, okay, well, let me take the hop apart and take a look at it first. So I took it all apart, and that's where I noticed it's missing the arms to adjust the hop up. So I, I look at it and the bucking's ripped. So I said, well, there's one thing, I gotta get a new bucking. So I went online, Amped Airsoft, and I found the Tridos top dead center mod. And I said, I'm going to get the basic one, put it in there, and see how that works. Put the new bucking in it, did some other messing around, put a new barrel spacer in there and locked it in place, put the rifle all back together again. Only has one mag, too, so it's like, okay. Um, but it's a VSR 10 style mag, you can buy them anywhere. So I put the hop up back in there, did the mod, the top dead center mod. Put some three twos in there, and I adjust it down. Shoot. Not really doing much better. They're just going out about 50 feet and dropping. Take another quarter turn. Shoot. Ooh, they're getting a little rise. Take another quarter turn. Shoot. Get a little bit more rise. I said, okay, half turn. Shot. Pew, BBs are up in the air. So I'm like, down a little bit. I have a mark on there that I'm looking at. I'm go down two clicks. All right, all right. Shoot. Still a little bit of a rise. Go down two more clicks. And it's like 
just a little bit of a hop and down. And I said, just one more just for the hell of it. Take it down one, and I shot, and it was a nice flat trajectory, and then it dropped off. So I said, I'll try and split the difference. And I just move it a little bit, and that sucker would go out there, a little bit of a rise, and it just lay right in there, and it was great. Three twos, though. Short, it's a short barrel rifle to G-spec. It's actually this way, behind his shoulder. I can point the right way. It's actually standing right there somewhere. Um, I don't know where it is. And there's the there's the scope, the extra scope that I got, the extra parts for it. And I said, I don't really need a sniper rifle because my shoulders, I, I right now they're hurting just sitting here. I can move them around and everything, but if I have to pull that gun several times like that, that's going to start hurting it. So even test firing it for, like, I put two, two and a half mags through it, that started to hurt. And it was going right out there to 200 feet. I'm going to mention that. So there's a guy that bought one of my sniper rifles off me, and he bought it. It's a, a one point f under uh, 400. It's under 400 with two O's sniper rifle it was stock. Only got a few tweaks on it, but it was shooting great. And he ripped the bucking on it. I don't know. I, he got it wet. The BBs got wet, wet and messed up the bucking, so he has to turn the buck, change the bucking out. He hasn't got around to it. And he was using it, but he wasn't very happy with it. It was shooting really good, but it's not got the range that he thinks it should have. So I had this G-Spec, and I'm shooting it, and I said, you know, are you interested in it? And he said, oh, I don't really need to buy another sniper rifle. He said, I'd really like to get one, but I don't really want to buy a sniper rifle. And he showed me this M9 that he got off a guy with two mags. And he says, I don't really want this M9. I said, he said, I'm trying to get rid of some of the stuff. Is that? I said, how about I trade? You have something you want to trade? I said, I'll trade you the M9 for the sniper rifle. Only has one mag, though. And I said, I got an extra scope. Show him right there. So I know a picture. He's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds great. thing it is with the M9 is I have mag converters for uh, M9 to M4 mag adapter. And I have an M9 to... Uh, Angel Custom Drum Mag Adapter. Matter of fact, I have three adapters, two M4 and, and the one Drum Mag Adapter. So I, the Drum Mag Adapter works on the one M9, but it doesn't work on the other M9. I, maybe it's the mag. I don't know. I can try it. But the M4 adapter works on both of them. So, and there's a, the second M4 adapter I made myself. That's a little bit flaky. you got to keep pushing on it a little bit and mess around with it. That works on the one also, but it doesn't work on the one that works on the drum mag. So it's like a catch-22. That one I always have on the side. I don't use it. So I always put the drum mag on the one, and I put the M4 mag adapter on the other. Well, I want to get another M9, just for the hell of it, to see how it is. Now, I have taken the one M9. It's got a Type 4 barrel in it. I changed out the the bucking, it's shooting like a friggin' rifle out there. The other one, I changed out the bucking uh, and did a little tweaks on the top that center mod on it so it can lift uh, three O's out there without a problem, just and right out there. And I've been using both of those with HPA because I can hold that one hand, hold it here, hold it left handed, you know, or whatever I want to do. And this one is actually tan too, so it's a it's a WE. So I was going to snag it off him, trade him for the uh, sniper rifle. So that I could maybe put it into like a, a kit, like a stock front end kit. They got them on Evite and Airsoft GI. They're, they're like $79 for an, M, uh, an M9. Uh, they have tan ones and they have the black ones. Most of the tan ones are hard to find. And, but I was thinking about that for this new tan pistol. It shoots pretty decent. Put it in that uh, like kit. Like a roadie kit where you take the clock and make it into a, like a PDW. So I was looking at doing that. So anyway, I digress. The stuff that I worked on this year. I finished up my stuff to fix. So everything is fixed on my bench. It's done. I have nothing there. So that's about all the stuff I worked on 2023. There's a lot of stuff that I could have worked on. And I do have a guy that asked me about doing stuff for him. And I had to say no because I don't want the responsibility of taking care of somebody else's stuff and doing things like that. Uh, hopefully
hopefully that'll uh, work out for me and it'll uh, start the new, new year out right. So you guys enjoy the end of the year and have a good day. Oh, that's not right. No.